Hello, welcome back to the 31 Days of Tarot. Uh, today is day 26, and today's prompt is what is the best piece of advice you've been given about working with the tarot? Yeah, I have a few little nuggets that I have kept with me. Um, one of the best pieces of advice I've been given was what to do when you're stuck on a card and it's just giving you nothing, especially when you're with a client <laughs> and you want to look professional and you want to look like you know what you're doing. So one of the best pieces of advice I was given um, was when you're having those moments and those experiences, just start describing what you see in the card. Just start looking at every little thing and describe what you see until something clicks. And if that still doesn't happen, then pass the card over to the querent and ask them <laughs> what they see. Um, I've heard a few professional readers use that trick. Um, in fact, um, Mary Greer, who is like the grandmother, you know, one of the founders of this kind of um, modern tarot, um, I don't know, industry, I guess. Um, she was, what I understand with, from an interview I was watching with her is that if you go in for a reading with her, she basically just asks you the questions and then passes you the, the tissues <laughs> if needed. And you as the, the querent end up doing the reading for yourself. She just kind of guides you through it. And she really doesn't read the cards at all. She kind of makes you read the cards and come to your own realization. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I hadn't ever considered, you know, I always thought as me as the reader, I'm supposed to be doing the work, but I can see how it would be beneficial for the client or the querent to do the reading for themselves. That this kind of was a fascinating tidbit. And so I've, I've kept that in mind and I've used that, um, um, yeah, for doing readings for people. The second tidbit I have kept with me is, um, when you're doing like a three card reading, um, try, if, if you wanna do an exercise, if you're just doing a reading for yourself, redraw what you see in one single image, combine all three cards. So I never have actually done that exercise myself, but I kind of do it in my head. Like, okay, if I was gonna draw this in one single picture, what would that picture look like? So, you know, if you had like a boat, and okay, what is the boat and who's in the boat? Maybe like the fool is in the boat from the Six of Swords or something like that. And where are they going? And, you know, anyway, you just look for all the symbols and you kind of combine all the characters, combine all the symbols into one image. And then what is that image telling you? So I found that really fascinating too, especially <laughs> as an artist that kind of triggered something like, oh, okay, tell the whole story in one image. If you could combine all three cards in one image, what would that image look like? And now you have your, your reading or your story. Um, so that was a cool exercise or a cool piece of advice. And I'll share one more. And that has to do with, you know, your kind of standard past, present, future layout. Um, it's kind of standard, it's in almost every book. Um, and I had a client, she said, I don't care. She's like, I already know what's happened to me and I pretty have a pretty good idea of where I am now. I only care about the future. And I was like, yeah, you know, like she has a point. Why would you talk about past and present um, when those are things people already know, unless you, as the reader, were just trying to go for that kind of spook people factor where you're like, know things that you couldn't otherwise know. Um, so yeah, one, I, I kind of thought of it, it made, that person made me think about, okay, what is the purpose of these past, present, future readings if 
we already know where we've been and we know where we are. We just want to know where we're going. And then I read a book um, that explained that layout in a whole new way for me. And instead of reading it as like, this is something that's already happened, this is in your past card, um, read it as what from your past is being surfaced in the present and will affect your future. And then um, with the future card, you kind of want to look at it like, um, is this the future that you want? And you can look for clues in the present. This is what you need to do today in order to manifest this tomorrow. So that kind of changed how I look at um, past, present, future layouts. And I found that system or that explanation much more usable and much more useful. Um, yeah, is that, I hope that I explained that well and that made sense. So those are kind of my three, um, three things that stand out that I learned from others that I have then incorporated into my own practice. And I want to say too, um, most of that information and some of the best pieces of advice I've gotten as a reader came from um, Tori Hartman's Card Reading Magic Summit. And she does it all online. And if you haven't heard of it and you're interested in learning more about tarot or anyway, if you're into tarot, you want to go participate in this um, summit. So how it works is she does interviews with professional readers in the industry and they're about an hour or so long each. And the videos are only free to access for the first, I think, 48 hours and then they disappear. So if you want to see them after that you have to pay to access, but for 48 hours, they're free to anyone. And I just set aside during her week um, of her summit, I just put aside, you know, an hour a day. And I, um, yeah, watch these videos and I found them pretty insightful. Like they're pretty, there are a lot of useful nuggets of information that come out of those interviews. So I would recommend that to anyone who's into tarot um, I think she does it around September. Go follow Tori Hartman and get on her email list so that you know um, when her next summit will be um, released. And so that's it. That's that's kind of my advice. If you're looking for advice, that's a great source. Um, yeah, I'm curious. I'm going to be watching your guys' videos and learning if I can learn anything from you guys, from what are your little pieces of information? What's the best advice you guys got? Um, yeah, I'm super excited to uh, watch your videos. Okay, I am signing off and I will see you tomorrow for day 27.